Bob, and you're watching WNS News. Get <laughs> 
Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. Matters private. Sure, okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Got your back, Jefferson, not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time. Thanks. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on, Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. What, bother us at doing what exactly? Uh, Mike, we're talking You'll about the cornerstone of my platform. I'm not doing a U-turn just because Night Corp. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson. Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. 
He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me, of all people? Wouldn't rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Security look into this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. Intruder, take anything? Break anything. Nothing missing. I haven't no- Just any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Said you passed out? That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. This security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? That or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think maybe you should? Hmm. Nope, that about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V'll turn something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? 
If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, huh, that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office, control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true, Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. You're welcome to go to the roof if you want. I'll wait here. It's your thing. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around. See if we can't spot where our receiver is camping out. Got a vision on our receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Is this all Fuck if I know, but my gut tells me we should see what this bad boy's hooked up to. See these cables? Yes. 
Gotta be another way inside. Sharp eye, Johnny. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. That happened to the screen a lot, or to any of the others. I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? Didn't see it? No. What? Uh, never mind. Why is this door concealed? Where? There's no door here. Scanner's showing something different. Wait, you mean here? I think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. They violated our privacy! The sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Use meds. Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him? Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. What's it for? Connected to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Ever noticed anything out of the ordinary? Suspicious? That they're violating our trust? Watching our every move? That they'd concealed a goddamn secret room full of spy stuff in our own apartment? You didn't notice, okay? Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I am not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh, my head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Transmitter's within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. Liz, this is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. There's a transmitter on the roof. Seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. Know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility. 
but we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine, I'll keep that in mind. We take the wheels, V. That van could give us a slip any second. V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players, string pullers, 
They spy on all the paralysis. Look for weak taking spots. Us in. Blind me. Scanning well.
pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records. Vulnerability to neuroplasticity. It's some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Uh huh. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. Oh, this is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit! They're wiping the data! We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. Any news? Gonna wanna sit down for this. It's... It's way bigger than we thought. What is? You were being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds and now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait. Not on the hollow. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there.
with you for the overwhelming show we throwing we overflowing and golden talent in your I'm ready. You're ready? Hey. Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Wasn't that long ago we last met. Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax. No need to rush. Ah. <sighs> uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality, he seemed to be changing right in front of me, becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie, even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. Oh, that must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time you knew what I could end up finding? I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mentioned any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they just wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? Haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. 
They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head? All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. Or that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... it destroy him. You knew who sent the intruder, but just strung me along anyway, Liz? I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. Wanted everything to just go on and flow on, because it was convenient. Convenient? I got the perfect life. Prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like, living like this. But damn it, Elizabeth, you gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads. What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Asking me to lie to my employer? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. Truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats? It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Mm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, over. Overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. No. No, this is different. I saw yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds, individual thoughts. Mm hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re networking. In layman's terms, gaslighting. The beauty is that everything's fair game subliminal TV signals, high density emitters, and your electric toothbrush. You name it. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the Paralysis lives? Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V.
legend. Hold the thing. I ain't a musician, but even I can tell about sloppy stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, a critic. Chill, Chumba. Ain't half bad. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take, and it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. Really know how to give a guy a compliment. That how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams. Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. <laughs> Ooh, isn't that what every failed artist says about their work? Know what? You're right. I failed. Corpo tyrants still run this town, just like 50 years ago. But if you think in my heart of hearts I want to be the next teen idol, think again. Don't give half a fuck about that commercial shit. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. Saw those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff didn't even know who we were. You're saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town? I smell heads. No idea you were such a materialist. Could almost cry. Almost. Chokes aside, you think those tapes still exist after all these years? Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadenza's not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something.
doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. What? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Fuck. Hello, V. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth, what did she tell you, exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. This some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up. Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a beady smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take of some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Know there's a concealed room in your pad? Out with it. They've got tech in there you wouldn't believe. These people know everything about you and your wife, watching your every move. <sighs> Somebody's programming you and your wife. Sounds like something out of the movies. Saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. Been at it for a while with you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs, even. How could I not have known about this? Your memories? Can't even trust those anymore. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Intruder. I have to find him. Trust me. You never will. First I'll find him. Then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Could show their hand if you're patient. Wait long enough. Or use your mayoral powers if you get elected. Long as you don't forget all this by morning. Sun Tzu's art of war. Feign weakness, so your enemy may grow arrogant. Don't see you doing much feigning, Jeff. My god. I have to tell Liz! Is there anything else I can do? You've done enough already, V. All that's left to do is wait. Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point. Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. She feared for your life, your daughter's life. Who could blame her? No. Well, she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily, believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. 
So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. I won't let them get away with this. So what now? Still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh, I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. And the same with the Aredis. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So, aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man. Pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team. Huh. Huh. 
This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Hey, Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old Rainbow Club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the Colt brought them out 20 years ago. I should put up a sign. Know anything about bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, don't know, samurai stuff? Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him? You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Cream. Thanks. Hey. Been in Night City long now? Long enough to know I should not answer seemingly harmless questions. Eat, pay, and be on your way. Could go for a bite. I think that. What can I get you? Hey, looking for some good tunes. Got any laser pop? Something from us, Cracks? Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Chill, Jim. Just a joke. <laughs> laser pop? Fucking laser pop? Here? At my stand? Heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian duelists. Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. See, I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't even dream of. Uh, Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. Yeah, looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs? Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. 
Not gonna give them to the first gonk off the street. Hey, no poser. Know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. Ah, I used to come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Hey, Johnny. Get your digital ass out here. Feed me my lines. How about this? Fuck you, V. Ain't your stupid sidekick. Well, can't wait all day. Johnny, please. Can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running out? How am I supposed to give a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy. A blind puppy. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Hang on. Now I remember. Uh, there was, uh, fire. Poor Denny. Poor Denny's hair. <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. Huh, <laughs> bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways. Gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Come on, have at it. Much appreciated. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to corpos. You know, they say time is the best teacher used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. Not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut. Stuck in the past. Want them to change. Them and the world. In 60 years, something must have changed. You know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka, same old shit, different packaging. Something's changing. Maybe we can't see it, but there's change all the same. Sure. Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of second-hand implants.
Do I know you? Show me the range.
Didn't have any blowback? I mean, for stepping into the Peter Pan case. And? How do you feel about all this? Which gang's the city's biggest and baddest, according to the NCPD? Return to work. Millipax has announced plans to establish a new colony on the Red Planet. The proposed base will be subdivided into three areas. Industrial, scientific, and residential. Ten residential modules are already available for purchase at a starting rate of 100 million euro dollars. A hefty price, yes. But can you do it? What's on your Take mind, care. V? Stay in touch. In a swift reprisal, NUS forces carried out a series of bombings on Texas airports in Wellington and El Paso. Which gangs the city's biggest and baddest, according to the NCPD? put the odds of a full-blown border war at three to one. That concludes today's world news segment. Please join us again next time. Take care. Stay in touch.